gentlemen, Namaskaram. On behalf of Rati and Sarita, I welcome you all to the Bharatanatya Arangetram of Kanisha Center. I'm Umar Ram and I will be Master of Ceremony for this evening. Most of you know what Bharatanatyam is. For those who are, not, who are new to this art form, I would like to mention that this is one of the most oldest art form which finds its roots into Tamil Nadu, which is a southern, one of the southern states in India. And it has derived its name Bharata, Natyam, Natyam, its dance, Bharata from the Bharata Muni, who is the author of Natya Shastra. A quick look into what Bharata means. Bha is bhavam or expression. Ra is ragam or melody. And ta is tadam or rhythm. It's a communion of expression, melody and rhythm. I'm going to recite a short shlokam from Natya Shastra. Yato hasta tato drishti. Yato drishti tato manaha. Yato manaha tato bhava. Yato bhava tato rasa. Which means, where the hands are, goes the eyes. And where the eyes are, goes the mind. And where the mind goes, this is an expression of inner feeling, which is the bhava. And where there is bhava, mood or sentiment, the rasa, is evoked. In this dance performance, the artist makes use of hand and eye movements, like hand, and uses the eyes to express the emotion or range of emotions. It consists of three components, the nutta, the dance movement, natya gives the drama aspect, and rutya, combination of dance movement and the drama aspect. Now looking into the word arangetram, it's a Tamil word, combination of two words, arangal and etram. Arangal means stage and etram is getting on stage. This arangetram is a graduation ceremony. It denotes attaining of certain skills and in this case Bharatanatyam. It denotes the successful completion of series of dances. A few words about my dear Tanisha. I've known Tanisha from the time she was six years old and I've been a very small part in her growing up days. Tanisha started learning Bharatanatyam when she was six years from her guru Pane Jayasen and later transitioned to her current guru, Srimati Prabha Nai. Tanisha is very active in all performing arts in her school. She's part of the National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and Health Occupation Students of America. These are just few that I, that I could just fit into my paper. There's a lot more about Tanisha. But apart from her academic excellence and her extracurricular activities, the Tanisha that I know is a beautiful child who's grown up to be a beautiful young lady today with complete respect to elders and to any art form that she learns. Now, we will start the evening program with Pushpanjali, the first item, an invocatory piece in a traditional Bhatanatyam performance. In this, the dancer offers flowers and seeks blessings from the Almighty, her Guru, the orchestra and the audience. And may, may I you know, request when she comes for your blessings in her dance form, please bless her and wish her for a wonderful evening and completion of her Arangetram. Pushpanjali is in Ragam Kamala Manohari, set to Adi Tadam, composed by Radhikiran. Ladies and gentlemen, Pushpanjali.
dear brothers and sisters, dear family and friends, as we all gather here today to celebrate and witness our family's first ever Angeto. Now, uh, after the entire family, this event is so special to our family. This is the first ever Angeto, and she is a trendsetter and torch bearer for our family for an upcoming generations. As you all know, Tanisha is a hardworking, tough, and beautiful young lady. I've seen her as a rock climber, cross country runner, mathematics tutor already, and now as a Bharatanatyam dancer. And I've not said all the things what she's doing, you know, already. She's a multifaceted, rock solid, wonderful, compassionate lady. I wish her great success for her artistic endeavors, starting with her and getting today. I would like to congratulate Anisha's parents, my brother and my sister-in-law, Santhal and Radhi. They worked countless hours to bring together this event live. Their dedication, affection and hospitality, I don't have to say it. You all have, you, you, you can all, all watch for it. <clears throat> I'm sure it's going to be a visual spectacular. Tanisha is a sweet, lovely, daughter made their dream come true today. I appreciate all of you for being here. I'd like to say a few words in Tamil as well. Tanisha in Magale, Muttu Salome, Walga Walga, and Walta Antule in the Appa, Tari Appa Waha. Appa, Ungal Peti, Arani Erira, Tanviti, Saraswati, Appa Garmehum, Ungal Asin Walturan, Tanisha Arani Erira, Ungal Walturan, Ungal Sarbahu, and Maramanda Waltakar. India will come in Tangachi, Magal Sutra Sarbahu, and Maramanda Waltakar. Mainland Malati Rula, and Magal Sudhir, Tara Sarbahu, Manavi Gayatri, Magal Laisha Sarbahu, and Maramanda Waltakar. Waltakar, 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 Waltakar. In the Rubati Mudal Mudal Arangatum, you do it. Arbame Amatra Maha, Arna Maha, Arawar Maha. Arabay lay in Amma in Madichiki. Arabay lay. Tanisha, in the Purvati Vaya Mutu, Varatu Munkali, Parakilei, Parayerei, Paramarei, Paramaramai, Paramari Soyai. Walga Walla the Tanisha, Walga Walga, Unkali Payam, Walia Sendaman.
the word beauty means muruga so today's shabdam is called tandai muranga tandai is antlet and muranga is the noise that it makes it's it's in ragamalika the ragam is ragamalika said to mr chavu and composer is shemanar koil shanmuga ladies and gentlemen murugan shabda
Thank you. It's story time now. The next item is Narasimha Kautuam. Kautums are dance compositions in praise of a particular deity. Lyrics are interwoven with jatis that require various footwork. Today's Kautum is on Lord Narasimha, an avatar of Lord Mahavishnu. So, the story goes thus. Hiranyakashipu is an arrogant demon king who believes none greater than him. So he does his penance and he asks for a boon. Just not one, but lines them up. And what are they? He says he cannot be killed by an animal or a human. He says he cannot be killed inside the house or outside the house. He says he cannot be killed with a weapon. And the last thing is he cannot be killed during the day or during the night. So the Almighty says, okay, you've done this penance, take it. So all the more he has his arrogance and he comes back. He has a small little child called Prahalada. This Prahalada is an ardent devotee of Lord Mahavishnu and refers to him as Sriman Narayana. So all you can hear this child say is Narayana, Narayana, Narayana. But then Hiranyakashipu wants him to say Hiranyakashipu ye namaha. Say my name, but Prahlada won't budge in. So that made Hiranyakashipu very angry and he goes, So where is this Lord of yours? Is he here? Is he there? Where is he? And he shows at a pillar. He points at a pillar and says, Is your Narayana in this pillar? And Prahlada, with undue devotion and bhakti and humility and respect, says, Yes, you can find my Lord Narayana there. So Hiranyakashipu takes his weapon and smashes the pillar. And lo comes Lord Narayana. He doesn't come as Mahavishnu. Do you know how he comes? He comes as a half lion and a half man. He doesn't come during the day. He comes at 6 p.m. in the evening, during the evening time. And he has this huge claws. Lions have huge claws, right? So he's fuming with anger that Hiranyakashipu is torturing his Bhakta, his devotee. And the moment he comes out of the pillar, he drags Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu looks at him with terror and fear. So he has this bone. He cannot be killed inside the house or outside the house. So Lord Narasimha takes him exactly to the, to the doorstep. And he lays him on his lap and takes him and tears him apart. So it is not during the day, it is not during the night. He doesn't use a weapon, he uses his claws. And he's neither a man nor a complete animal. He's half animal and half human. So Tanisha now is going to enact the drama of Narasimha Avatar in Narasimha Kautuam. This Narasimha Kautuam is in Ragamanika set to Khanda Chakutaram and the composer is Vidwan G. Gurumurthy and she comes in with her right hand in Tripataka that means it's a man and her left hand symbolizing claws spread out and bent the claws of a lion and please enjoy her performance in this avatar of Mahavishnu Narasimha.
we will now have our next guest of honor, Dr. Ravi Kumar Muttakalwan. Dr. Ravi Kumar Muttakalwan is a MBBS and postgraduate in orthopedics from Chennai, India. He has been working in London, UK as a general physician with special interest in sports medicine and orthopedics for over 20 years. He is also a trustee and a director of Nyanam Foundation, a charity organization part Laika Mobile, which helps in resettlements of displaced families and children around the world, including Sri Lankan Tamils and African children. I would now like to invite Dr. Ravi Kumar to say a few words and he is Tanisha's maternal uncle, Mr. Dr. Ravi Kumar. Good evening, everyone. So thank you for having me here. It gives me immense pleasure and opportunity to be here for such a great occasion. I take this opportunity to thanks the great groups that Ravi had for and Anisha had to make this happen. First of all, I would like to thank Tanisha's guru, Yubishi Prabhanaya, Mirdangamit Nanda, Vedan Nanduri, Vokal Spani, Manati Jha, Bailen Vidwan, Adhiram Kumar, Kruj Van Vidwan, Chaitan Ajit, Chaitan Anand, I'm sorry. And it's been such a pleasure to meet these people in the last week and they've taken such measures to make sure this happens in such a flawless way. And I would like to ask you to give a great round of applause so this is our first arangetum in my family. In fact, this is my first live arangetum I've seen in my life. And uh, we've been humbled to be here, myself, my wife, Dr. Maitre, and my son, Aditya. The reason is because we all knew how tough the last two years have been for all of us. And uh, Rati and Sentil had to accommodate us this year because they had to change the dates a couple of times to make sure they accommodate us this year. And I'm humbled to say that very thank you to Rati and Sentil. And uh, during this tough time in the last year, I think we all know that um, Tanisha lost her paternal granddad and a maternal grandmother, which is I and Rati's mom. And uh, this was a very tough time to all of us, but Tanisha had an opportunity to, to just bounce back. The reason I'm saying this is because I hardly spent time with Tanisha in the last 16 years, but luckily, fortunately, we had an opportunity to um, have Tanisha with us last Christmas in London. So what we have seen in Tanisha, so I took her to my surgeries and made sure she stayed with some of my colleagues. So I find four important qualities in Tanisha. The enthusiasm she showed, willing to learn, being committed, and being consistent. I believe these four qualities are more important to anyone else in any profession, including the dance. And this shows when you have such a great teacher and a committed student, we could see such a flawless rendition. I believe that's the most important thing in life. The third thing I want to say is um, you have seen this backdrop and you've seen when you walked across the auditorium and the amount of stress and commitment that Sintin and Prati showed and you wouldn't believe every single the backdrop and the work has been done by Sintin on his own solely. And that's amazing. I'm pretty sure uh, brought both uh, Tanisha's grandmother and granddad would be wherever they are, they're showering the blessings. 
But Talisha is lucky to have, lucky enough to have a granddad here and a grandmother here. And I hope they have a lovely time staying here. And last of all, do not forget, I never see this to the friends and family who come here across states to spend this valuable time on this lovely occasion. I've spoken to one of the family who basically traveled to India within the next 24 hours, have traveled across state to be here. This shows how much they love Tanisha and the family. And this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. I love you all. Thank you. And last but not the least, and I've been here for the last five, six days, and I've seen the support of Sintel's friends, family. I would like to thank a few of them. I'm pretty sure I would have missed a lot more. Rajan and Radhe Vadeya, Kalyan Tilakar, Radhika Tiagu, Ram, and the rest of them. I'm pretty sure I missed all of them, or many more of them, but thank you so much. And such a pleasure to meet you all guys. Thank you. God bless. Namaste. And uh, congratulations on such a successful application so far. Um, in this short time, I'd like to share a small Hindustani album in the Marathi language, which is my mother tongue. Um, I'll sing Mathe Mathe Pandali, which is an album made famous by the legendary Pandit King Singh Doshi.
so they are born and this happens in the city of Madurai and this song should be very close to Senthil and Prati because they hail and they come from Madurai. So these ladies living in Madurai and they are having their own life and one day Lord Shiva now it's the time to test these ladies and you know so he comes as a bangle servant. And what bangles does he hold? The same bangles that had fallen off from the lady, from the sage's wife. So he's bringing that and he's selling them. He's a bangle seller. Even now, if you go to down south, you can see the bangle seller, you know, holding each one's hand and looking at the size and giving them the right size and color. And it's an art of its own. Okay, now the, the ladies have their curses on, but how do they get dissolved of their um, curse? The sages say, if Lord Shiva comes back and holds your hand, then you will, you'll be free of your curse. You know, so Lord Shiva comes as a bangle seller, trying to sell bangles to these ladies. And again, these ladies are, oh my God, this is a bangle seller. You know, he's selling bangles on the street. But he's so beautiful, he's so handsome. And they're looking at him, they're trying to check, you know, look at the bangles, choose the colors. And Lord Shiva touches their hand to try the bangles on. And they're free of their curses. They're still not aware that this is Lord Shiva himself who's present in their presence. But then Lord Shiva turns around and he goes into the temple and merges with the Shivalinga as Soma Sundareshwara. Please pay attention to the drama that Tanisha is going to perform. So she's going to be the sage, she's going to be the mendicant, she's going to be the sage's wife, and later Lord Shiva is the bangle seller, and the grand climax of Lord Shiva, uh, uh, the bangle seller merging into the Shivalinga. Ladies and gentlemen, Kunjum Sadangai in Ragam Latangi set to Adi Dhanam. The composer is Madurai R. Muri Ladies and gentlemen, it is Bhanu.
to break. Please be back in 15 minutes. We have refreshments outside. So please help yourself and be back. We have wonderful dance items for the rest of the second half of the show. Thank you.
Welcome back everyone. We will now begin the second half of the program by introducing and felicitating orchestra members. Adi Ram Kumar. He's been learning Karnataka violin for five years 
and a tribute to Vidwan Shri Vivi Srinivasa Rao, All India, uh, All India Radio Chennai. Adi has performed as a soloist in the companies in the Cincinnati and Dayton areas as well as in India. Adi is currently a raising junior at the University of Cincinnati College, graduate from music, where he is studying music and music. Our next artist is the flutist Chetan Anand, senior designer of Congress Roman Dunga. He's been learning since 2007. He's received vocal and tabla training over the years from eminent gurus. He's lent his voice to many social causes to support different charity organizations. He's currently a student at the Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, Chetan Anand. Now, please join me in encouraging and applauding Shriya Arun Kumar and Ishanvi Kartikeyan, the students of Srimati Maruti Vijay. They came accompanying her and supporting the Maruti Wish them many years and many more such concerts. Sahana, she's been helping with the bell <laughs> in Varnam. Sahana, thank you, thank you very much. She's going to have a loving agent pretty soon.
next item will be Kirtanam. This Kirtanam is about Lord Nataraja, his joyful dance in Kanaka Sabais, and how his cosmic dance reverberated throughout the universe. Kirtanam is in Ragam Vasanta, Taram Mishra Chapu. Composer is Gopala Krishna Bharatiya. Don't start. Don't start.
in life and in Bartholomew too, I have absolutely no idea where I will be today. Problem MD has quickly become more than a group to me, but rather family as well. Next, I would like to thank my wonderful family for being there with me through thick and thin. Specifically, I would like to thank my amazing mother, my father, my brother Robin, Robin Mama, my Greta, Periapa, Periapa, Muta Tata, my Apata, and my cousin Aditya. Unfortunately, my cousin Sujita couldn't come, and uh, my Kamika Tata and my Amama were are unfortunately no longer with us here today. I would also like to thank Raj and Uncle, who has been an excellent mentor for me for my future aspirations. And Uncle has been beyond helpful with helping my aunt Daytrum come to fruition. I would also like to thank Radhi Auntie, who has greatly helped with my aunt Daytrum as well, and worked very hard on all of the decorations. Last, but definitely not the least, I would like to thank Uma Aunty, our amazing MC tonight. Uma Aunty has encouraged me to continue by the Nauti. She has taught me Vishnu Sahasranam and Larika Sahasranam, which has kept me connected to my culture and actually understand what I'm expressing in my dances. Again, thank you all so much for supporting me on this huge milestone in my life. Words cannot express how thankful I am for all of you today. Thank you. When she was 13 years of age, she used to come with her friend Sri Leka to my house to learn the same. It's very close to her heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Sri Chakra Raja.
It's time for our next guest of honor, Mr. Rajan Odia. Rajan Odia is a Chief Technology Officer at a FinTech firm. He's also a Board of Director at Fusion Core Technologies and Mentor Peak. He's also serving as a Strategic Advisory Board Member at SAP, MSFT, and Q2. He's a board member for several non-profits. He's a philanthropist in helping several non-profits, schools, and colleges across the globe. He's a well-known, sought-after speaker for several fintech and tech conferences. He is an alumni of Kellogg Business School, alumni of Cambridge Judge, Judge Business School, and alumni of Said Business School, Oxford. A small personal note from my side. Mr. Rajin Odiar has been serving this community for the past, I want to say, 15 years. It could be more. It is just not Mr. Rajan, his wife, Rade, and his daughter, Varshini, as a family, they do a lot of social service. I'm deeply humbled and grateful to have known this family. So please give a big round of applause for Mr. Rade. Now we have a lot of volunteers and we have 
the Matthew ministry, and also when we go and drop it in the Matthew ministry's box, again, those materials are distributed to, I don't know, maybe 50 plus countries, and several of you have visited Matthew ministry, the, the Hope for Hunger, and many other places. Next slide, please.
doesn't know if they are going to get the next read. And they cannot see. They have a very, very hard time reading and studying. And they don't have the technology drive. And we work with them to make sure they can read it. So, Tarisha, along with several other children, make sure that they celebrate some of the festivals, like the New Year Day and many other festivals set up in different states, whether it's Christmas or whether it's Ramadan, they, they celebrate it. So this video you are going to see, you can see the smile in their faces. And that is what it matters at the end of the day. The life is very short. This little girl, with her, whatever effort she can do, with many other children. And now the video you are going to see, I just wanted to see how the smiles of those children are. Can you please play the second video, please? Surprise to Central Tanisha, I didn't even share this with, with Rade. 
This is not a coincidence. I'm going to call this as a God incident. And this is something called a group prayer. Sometimes, many times in our life, we pray for other people. Whether it is normal prayer, or if they wanted something for special for my health or education, etc. So in this particular case, Mr. Vair Murugan sent me this video, I think two weeks ago, this was, uh, again, we worked on a project, and he just forwarded that video, and he didn't know, he, did, he does not know that there is an arrogatorium for, for uh, Tanisha this week. Neither he did talk about anything about the arrogatorium, because if he would have known, he would have talked about it, but they did not. So let's play this video, please. Last video. That's the final video, the third video. Under the day, you are the two way of the Niron of the Buddha, Anaver Boom, Puram Devikaga, Pachu, Kalvi Devikaga, Buddha, the Sayu Room, Tanisha and Pashi Pachu, our Kuna Kerry Nedva was in the Telegram Room, our Kuna Kuna, Ucha, Petro, Puran Kerala, Yavi Nedva was in the Telegram Room, our Anaver Boom Teviana, Puran Sudotikum, Anni Hapate Mita the Telegram Room. We will now have Adi Ram Kumar play a solo. Thank you. 
folk dance, Putrana Puravanji. Kurtis are tribal ladies living in the hilly regions. Many worship Lord Murugan and are noted for their fortune-telling capabilities. This is an ancient and popular song from Putrana Puravanji. Please note, observe um, Tanisha's costume change from a traditional attire to a very folk attire. This Putrana Puravanji is in Ragam Senchuruti, Tadam Adi, and composer is Trikuda Trikuda Sapa. Ladies and gentlemen, Putrana Puravanji.
girl who saw her palmistry done by Tanisha Dakurati. Now I invite Rohan, Tanisha's brother, to give a small speech. Before we start, can I give one more big round of applause for my sister, Tanisha Sato? I welcome you, crowd, on behalf of my family. First and foremost, I would like to thank Tanisha Stan's teacher, Ms. Prabha Nair, for her wonderful work in teaching my sister the art of Bhartanatyam. Second, and foremost, I would like to thank the musicians for their wonderful time here and keeping alive music for my sister's performance. Then I would like to thank my family. So let's start with my mom's side. I'd like to thank my beloved Red Mama and my Tete and my cousin Aditya for taking the time out of their day to come from London all the way over here to see my sister's performance. I'd like to thank my dad's side. I'd like to thank my Beifa and my Perima and their newly daughter, Laisha, for taking the time out of the day to come from California, the West Coast, all the way over here. Second, I would like to thank my parents. Not the last adult, but probably the most important. My parents here actually immigrated here from 2002 to America to give us the best education possible. While doing that, they still kept what's in their roots and made my teacher Dan Bartonatio. And for that, I guess the biggest round of applause. I would also like to extend my thank you for everyone coming today. Oh, and obviously, don't forget. I would like to thank my Tata with the Gulvin for being here today and my Abata as well for being here. And I would also like to thank my other Tata, Garbegam Gandaswami, who is in heaven as well, and my grandma, Indrani with the Gulvin for as well. As I believe they are up here still giving my sister their blessings. These last two years have been, to say it hard, would be an understatement. My sister, through the uh, unfortunate decease of their uh, two grandparents, she has still persevered and thought and danced and studied through nights. She is obviously, as you guys know, she's a junior, and junior is no joke. But still, through junior year, countless nights of studying, putting in the work, and still dancing to show that she here has proven a name for herself, she deserves the biggest round of applause. From seeing her the day I was born, from the seeing her the day she was born, and from now, her being 17, she has shown a lot of growth. She has once been that bowl cut Indian girl, all the way to a, almost a full grown woman. She has danced for a total of 11 years. That's more than double her lifetime. She has worked hard countless amount of times. Enthusiasm and everything she does is for the love of her dance and the love of her parents. Not only did she make me proud, I hope she made all of you guys in the crowd be proud today. Because I, for one, am the proudest brother of them all. And once again, I'd like to say, please enjoy the show, everyone, and thank you. I now invite Sentil Karmegam. Anisha's dad and the art director of this evening. So please give him a big round of applause. Namaskaram. Good evening, everyone. Nali Manakam. Subha Shantram. Subha Sanjay. Shushanti. Running out of words. I'm speechless. Uh, First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who are here today. Uh, being a Memorial Day weekend, uh, you know, you took the time and effort to come here. It's a great blessing for my daughter. Words come explain, or express. We are sincerely grateful for everyone being here, blessing my daughter. Uh, thank you. Um, I'd like to start thanking my family first. Um, my father, you know, was a great supporter uh, of the well-being of the family. He's no longer with us, but you know, I know he's supporting us from wherever he is. And so does my uh, mother-in-law, um, uh, Indrani Muthukalvan. She's not here. 
So as my son said, you know, past two years has been uh, pretty eventful. You know, we lost two major uh, family members. We kind of struggled through. But Tanisha, on the other side, you know, she she used this as an opportunity. She danced till you know she had cramps in her legs, and she kept pushing through. She kept pushing through, and she put all her dedication, time to build this endurance to be here on this stage. Again, as everyone has been asking, I like everyone to give a round of applause for my daughter. And my mother, till two days ago, I didn't know she was going to be here. Uh, she made a very surprise. You know, she didn't want to miss this opportunity. She booked a ticket. She came all the way from India. And you know, I drove her to Chicago to pick her up. And she's here. Pandya Ma. My father-in-law, through saying this, I mean, showing the same support, uh, he's here. Mr. Mutu Kalwan. Thank you. And my brother and my sister-in-law, all the way from California, Muriesa. And Dr. Ravi Kumar and family, all the way from London. And I can say a lot of thanks. Um, yeah, I have a million thanks to say. Um, my father always says, you know, you make friends for life. And that friends for life become my family. Especially people here in Mesa. Uh, and a good deed always pays off. And one way or other, you know, I, I have been blessed to have a family of friends here who supported me. Uh, you know, when this whole event, you know, when we started putting together an agenda, everyone offered, uh, you know, help. Starting with Rajan, uh, who's been a great supporter of Tanisha, who's been mentoring her for the past four or five years. Uh, Rade, you know, helped with the uh, logistics and decorations. And volunteers, not one, not two. I had put 25 some volunteers who worked relentlessly, you know, to, you know, to bring this event, um, such a, a, a big event. Um, I'll start with uh, Kalyan Kumar, Telaga, Prashanti. Uh, Chantil, Tyal, Radhika, Anguraj, Sonia, Ramesh Krishna, uh, Ramya. Uh, I'm running out of words here. I mean, I'm forgetting names. <laughs> uh, but many, many uh, people uh, who have been so helpful, um, you know, just supporting me and encouraging me and being behind me, you know, just to get things done. Uh, and you know, I'm ever grateful for you know whoever was here um, and helping me uh, yesterday with this great event. Um, I'd like to thank my own family. Uh, two years, you know, with all uh, you know being stressed out. Um, my wife, my son. We have a new addition to a family, Simba. You know, we all kind of, you know, went through a lot of emotions. Uh, sometimes emotions do pour out, you know, frustrations. But Tanisha on the other side, you know, she would dance, at, you know, as if that, you know, nothing is bothering her. I saw that inspiration in her, you know, she built that endurance. She, she, she made sure that, you know, she, all the 10 years, this, the, the, work, the work she's been putting, for, you know, all the effort she's been putting pays off. And it, which did. Um, um, again, you know, uh, you know, she started the journey when we moved here to Mason. I know this child was totally inspirational. You know, she she had uh, a lot of interest in dance. She used to dance for any 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 music that you can play. Then my wife she said, why not we try Bharatanatyam? And I told jokingly said, you know, my sister learned Bharatanatyam. Uh, my sister, by the way, passed away 18, 19 years ago. And I know she could not continue. And I've seen a lot of my friends' daughters, you know, they put their child, they're very enthusiastic, they put them in, in, in dance to class and go for three, four years, but then they could not keep up. For many, 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 many reasons. 
Likewise, you know, we might, why should you know, why not try to Alicia for, uh, you know, just teach us some how to get I said, okay, let's, let's uh, uh, put her in a class. So we joined her, which went for, you know, a few years. She was happy, and then one day she said, I'm unable to keep up. I'm, you know, I'm losing focus with my studies. Uh, can I take a pause? So she took a pause for eight months. And then the child came back again and said, I'm interested. And that's when, that's when we found Prabha Nairji. Uh, you know, she took her attention on her wings and she coached her, mentored her, and you know, brought her to be who she is now. Thank you, Prabhaji, uh, for, for you know, just shaping and holding her in you know, such a way she is right now. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's Tanisha's dream, it's my family dream. My sister learned it, I'm pretty sure my, my wife, she learned it. They could not keep up, but then, you know, my daughter, she fulfilled the dream of the life. So, again, thank you to my daughter. And my son, again, you know, he was running a free Uber service whenever Tanisha has to go someplace, you know, to be <laughs> Yeah, and I did the same thing too. So, we drop her up, pick her up, you know, uh, and, you know, which eventually paid off. You know, we, uh, the family went through the emotions, but end of the day, being here, feeling, feeling blessed, feeling blessed, uh, being humble. Thank you. Thank you again for everyone being here. And thank you for my family members for supporting, you know, throughout this journey. And all of this would not have happened uh, without the orchestra. I'll start with Prabhaji. Uh, she is so dedicated. During COVID time, and a lot of teachers, they said, oh, we would try to coach you during, uh, you know, with the Zoom link or, uh, you know, we will try to do it online. But Prabhaji, she dedicated the time. She invited Tanisha to her own house uh, and she coached her every week. You know, that's the big risk that someone would take during the peak of COVID. Thank you, Prabhaji. And then, uh, you know, talk about Vasudevan Ji, Maliti Ji, uh, Chetan Ji, and Adi. You know, they are five different flavors, bringing them all together, the orchestra, to give such a, a, a massive event, you know, you know, showcasing everything, whatever Tanisha learned, and bringing everything together. That was, a, 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 I mean, words cannot express, you know, I'm just sitting there in the front row, I literally started crying. I don't tear that much fast, but I started crying. I'm not proud to say that, but tears started running down my ears. So again, thank you for giving such a blissful uh, event. Thank you. So. Again, once, once again, you know, I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, and, you know, even being a Memorial Day weekend, you, know, you all took time and effort. Um, Thank you. Stay safe. Love you all. I'd like to thank Umaka. You know, she's been a great MC. Uh, more than MC, you know, she's been a family friend for almost 12 years. She's been a great supporter of Tanisha. Uh, even myself too. You know, when I'm done with something, you know, when, when I go to Mochling, you know, she's there always here to support Umaka and Ram. Uh, they moved to Japan and looks like they came back here just in time for my daughter's Bhavanandi Maragetra. So it's blessed to have them. It's blessed to have this entire family, who are friends who are family and family who are friends. Thank you again. Thank you, Aga.
know that um, they all have thanked all of you. I would personally like to thank Rati and Santa for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Her sankalpam or wish was so strong. Rati had told me about three, four years ago that I have to be the MC for Tanisha's Adhanetra. The cosmos heard and brought us back from Japan when we moved in 2019 in time for Tanisha's Anugetram. So I take this opportunity to thank Rati especially for bringing me here. Now, we will have Chetan play a solo piece. Chetan. Namaste everybody. Um, I'll play a simple piece. I'm going to play this improvised piece. And it's very light from the folk melody of Bahari. Bahari is a melody that came from the hills of Mato Pradesh. So try to emulate that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
uh, they tell the story of, of how Kalinga, the serpent, is vanquished by Sri Krishna. The dancer has to enact four roles. First she comes as a dancer. Then the, she becomes a gopis, the village maidens who play along the banks of the river Yamuna. Then she switches to Kalinga, the serpent, and then later to Sri Krishna who conquers Kalinga. In a flash, Kalisha switches roles from one to the other, from the frolicking gopis to the venomous Kalinga to valiant Krishna. This happens more than once, so it is indeed challenging, all the more so as throughout the dance the brisk tempo of the song has to be maintained. Tonight's Tilana is in Raga Gambhiranate and Tala Adi. Tilana will be followed by Mangalam, in which the dancer offers thanks to God, to her guru, to the orchestra members, and to you, the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your presence. Tilana, followed by Mangalam.